Get ready for it. Dang, that looks pretty good. What's going on guys, Tyler here, and thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure and smash that nice red look and subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it because today we're talking about some color gradient buttons, which is super cool and I'm super excited to share that information with you. As far as I know, these are Elementor free features, but I always, always recommend to upgrade to Elementor Pro because there's just a slew of awesome features in Elementor Pro that just upgrade your site immensely. So be sure and check out Elementor Pro. I have a link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for that. It might surprise you. It's actually a really good price. So be sure and check out Elementor Pro in the description below. Let's make some buttons. All right, guys, newcomers, subscribers, my favorite people ever. Let's jump into my computer here and get started. So as you saw kind of in this intro, I've made this page here that when you um, load the page, it has a few entrance animations and then it has this um, gradient colored button and this button is super awesome because it really really pops off the page if you look at this page you know it's super basic this is something that you would kind of see um, a, maybe a more modern company this kind of modern style this monochromatic just black and white and then with one button that really just pops and stands out there's no you know surprises no you know question where you're supposed to click and these colors kind of bring in kind of the feel of the colors. So not only like the blue is kind of more like a trustworthy type color and the purple like a little bit different, you know, a more relaxing color, not only brings in those emotions, but it also kind of introduces maybe some brand colors. And if nothing else, if you just want to design some awesome color gradient buttons, you can do that too and add them to your site. They really have a nice cool pop effect to them. So let's go ahead and just show you kind of how I did this and how I went through and, and made this this. Um, this is an image right here from Unsplash. Unsplash.com has royalty free or just free to use um, images. So you can check like their individual licenses and stuff like that. But most of them are just free to use on any of your projects. And uh, so this is just an Unsplash image I grabbed from there. I added some text here. And basically what I did is I made this image the background of this section right here. And I set this section to full width and I set the height to fit to screen so it fits the whole screen and I have the background image set to this image here. Then I went ahead and just added text with a little bit of a margin to bring it down a little bit and to set an entrance animation, you just go over to advanced, motion effects, entrance animation, fade in, it's a slow fade in and I set it to a 500 delay um, on that one and then a one and a half second later delay on this one and one and a half second after this one delay on the button. So that's how I kind of made that that um, effect or that kind of like presentation of the actual site if you're interested. But if not, let's just jump into the how to make the button. It's actually really easy. What we're gonna do is actually just go and grab another button and I'll show you exactly how this works. So basically when you bring in a new button, it's defaulted to the left and it's a pretty small button here. So what we wanna do is actually bring it to the center or position it wherever we want it and then we'll go about styling it. So for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and center it. All right, now that we've got that button centered, we're just gonna go ahead and go about stylizing this button. Now basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is you can see I have this blue here on the right side here and then this purple on the left side. The primary color of your button will show up on the right side. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to set as your primary color. So if we wanna just make you know some kind of cool button, we'll just use maybe like a pink and a purple. That'll kind of pop off the page here. Um, so let's go ahead and make purple the primary color because we want purple on the right hand side and pink a secondary color. I'll show you how to add the pink in. But basically we wanna make the button primary purple. So over here we'll go into, let's see, background color right here and we'll click this and we'll go to, actually let's just click over here on the right and we'll add it in because I don't have it set as my primary color. Um, but we'll go ahead and just add in a nice purple. Um, that looks pretty good right there, perfect. We'll just use that purple right there. So that's gonna be the right side of the button. And then to add this effect, you're going to use a box shadow. So you're gonna go ahead and hit this little edit button here 
and we're gonna go ahead and select a color. We can select the color we want. By default, usually your box shadow is set to a semi-transparent, like semi-transparency. So you're gonna to wanna to adjust that right over here. You can use this slider. This makes it more transparent and this makes it um, like adds transparency or uh, I'm sorry, adds um, opacity. So it's gonna be more um, solid and less see-through basically. So you wanna have it all the way up. And if you can see this value right here, when that value hits one, that means it's fully there. It's it's There's no transparency. Um, the opacity is set to 100%. So that's what we want right there and that's what we're going for. Now we'll go ahead and we said pink, so we'll just go and find a nice pink here. Um, sure, that pink looks fine. Uh, maybe that's a little too, yeah, that, that pink looks better. Perfect. Okay. So now back in the box shadow here, once we've set our color, what we're going to do, you can see it's made this little kind of, um, almost highlighted blurry area around the button. What we're going to do is bring the horizontal all the way over to a hundred and we're going to leave the vertical at zero. We're going to go ahead and add the blur all the way up to 90 seems to work well for these buttons and then the spread we're going to bring down to 30 negative 33 excuse me so negative 33 so the horizontal 100 vertical 0 blur 90 and spread negative 33 and then the position we're going to flip to inset now that's going to bring all of those effects, that whole like blurry effect and bring it into the button. And you can see just like that, we've made it, you know, it looks really good right there. So if we actually remove this button, you can see even that right there, it just really pops off the page. It really stands out. It looks nice. It looks, you know, modern and, and fancy like that. So um, yeah, just like that, we've made our button with a gradient color. If there are any other adjustments you wanna to make to it, you can, the blur is going to actually kind of affect how much is fading into the right side. And um, something, one thing I do wanna mention here is the, uh, the horizontal also adjusts kind of like how far it pushes over and stuff like that. One thing I do want to adjust is if you're going to change the button size, you'll want to make this adjustment over here under the size and you can make extra small or you know all the way up to extra large. And you can see the bigger the button gets, the less of that kind of like fade that we really get because you, there's more purple now over here. Because it's not really like a native feature into the buttons, we're kind of like you know using a workaround. It's only able to fade over so far so typically you know not massive buttons um, are the greatest but you know medium size work well um, small ones for sure work great um, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to justify on the alignment of the button because that will spread the whole button out across and sometimes it's necessary sometimes it's awesome to you know justify that and make a big button in the whole section um, but for this effect it's not going to work well because this you can see the fade kind of ends like right about here and the whole rest of the button is purple all right guys i think that about wraps it up for the color gradient button if you guys have any questions or comments be sure and drop a comment down below in the comment section and if you like today's video be sure and smash that nice like button i would really appreciate it if you're new to the channel like i said before be sure and subscribe and let me just show you one more thing here actually before you guys go let me show you just real quick this is absolutely awesome and I've showed this before but this is just this is an Elementor Pro feature and look at how cool this is. This is an animation that it just like that was it. I dragged and dropped it and it's already done. If I want a word to be emphasized, I can drag this in and I have this animated headline where it actually like circles the word that it, I want to be emphasized. These are just one of the like tons and tons of Elementor Pro features that exist in when you buy Elementor Pro. There's just, there's so many features like that that just upgrade your website a ton. So be sure and check out Elementor Pro. I have that link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. Like I said, it, it might surprise you. You know, it is a really good price um, compared to other drag and drop builders. So I highly, highly recommend it. And with no further ado, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care.